What is up, Fit Track? It is finally springtime. And that means getting outside and jogging again. That means starting out new workout programs. But with that, it often means back pain and that nagging knee and ankle pain. And that's why this week our focus is going to be on improving our mind muscle connection. The reason we want to focus on doing that when we're starting our workout programs is that we'll make sure that our muscles are there to support us when we're outside jogging and working out. So the muscles can take that force instead of it going into our joints. So stick with me. We've got about a 10 minute circuit here and it's going to make sure that our hamstrings and glutes are fired up and ready to support us. So we're going to start off really simple with glute clamps. So we're going to lie flat on the ground. This arm is going to be extended straight out to support our head. Our feet are going to be stacked together and they stay together the entire time. And our hips are rolled over just slightly so our belly button is pointing towards the ground. We can keep this arm here to maintain this angle of our hips. And from here, all we're doing is we're pulling this leg up and controlling it back down. But the key is that we're mentally focusing every single rep. I want to pull from this glute and then I want to control it back down and then pull from that glute. We're going to do 10 reps for our right leg and 10 reps for our left leg. Our next exercise are glute bridges. So we're going to lie flat on our back with our feet about 10 inches away from our hips and our hands at the sides to help with balance. From here, I want us to mentally contract our hamstrings for the entire exercise. So as we drive our hips up, I want to squeeze my hamstrings, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And when I get to the top, I'm going to gently pull my feet towards my hips. I'm not actually going to move them, but I'm just thinking and creating a little more tension in my hamstrings, controlling back down and repeating for 10 repetitions. This next exercise is called step downs and it's going to help fire up your hamstrings and your glutes. So you're going to need something that's about six to eight inches off the ground and make sure it's stable so you're not going to lose balance when you step on the object. So start with getting both feet up on the object. You're going to bring one foot back and as you bring one foot back, you're going to drive these hips back and down all the way until the other foot touches the ground. When the other foot touches the ground, you're going to drive yourself back up and you're going to go in for another rep. Make sure that this knee does not go over your toe. And we're going to do eight reps per leg. So for step ups, what we're going to do when you're up on the object, you're going to drive your one foot back, but also our hips back. So as we're going down to the ground, we want to keep this shin as vertical as possible. Touch the ground, drive ourselves back up, and then we're going to go back for our next rep. We're going to do eight reps per leg here. Drive it back. Keep this shin vertical, touch the ground, and back up top. So last but not least, we've got mini squats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our feet about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna go into about a quarter squat. However, as we're doing the squat, going down and going up, we're pulling the ground apart with our feet. So I'm thinking about coming down and pulling apart and squeezing back up. This is gonna help engage the glutes. From the side, we want to make sure that our knees do not go over our toes. So we're driving the hips back, squeezing it back up, engaging these glutes the entire time. 